I'm John Snoddy. I lead the uh, technology and innovation groups at Walt Disney Imagineering. I'm here with Doug Fidelio and Leslie Evans uh, from our research and development groups. And, you know, we're about to open this uh, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, and it features a huge project of yours, a D309 conversational character that's on the ship. Tell us about that. Who is she? She is a logistics droid that you can actually call up from your guest cabin. And on your droid link panel, you can press that button and, and talk with her and have a conversation with her just like you would with, honestly, hopefully a friend. We've prototyped characters like this for years. We've done demos in this building. Um, but 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 this has been our, our a really a first chance to get one of these tests out into the world so our guests can actually have the chance to talk to D309. I had the privilege of talking with her tons over the last couple of years and it is uh, it is kind of amazing that you can now you know the, the technology is at the point where you really can have this uh, kind of conversational uh, experience. Doug your team worked on the the speech part of this quite a lot. Uh, what kind of teams did it take to put something like this together? Yes yeah, so it's a it's an interesting thing where here it, certainly there's technology that powers the experience but really the goal is for that technology to disappear right so the teams that we need to do that is it includes deep speech uh, scientists, folks that are uh, deep technology experts in natural language understanding, human robot interaction, but folks that will actually team up with our artists, our designers, our writers to make all of that technology disappear and create the amazing engaging experience that becomes D309. Leslie, talk about just how a team like this is made up, because you, know, you would expect, we're talking about artificial intelligence and speech recognition and, and uh, emergent behavior and all of those things and you think of technology there but but it's kind of it's bigger than that yeah I, I think our group's really at our best when when the art is pushing the technology and the technology in, in turn is also unlocking things for our artists so that's why when we build these teams we are always having writers and experienced designers paired with our engineers from the start of a project because a lot of times there are experiences we want to bring to life and the technology doesn't exist to get it done so so we have some of these artists and designers trying to figure out how can I explain to the world this this new experience we could create and then our engineers start partnering to build the tools and build the pieces to make that happen but I think equally as powerful is, is sometimes our engineers will unlock a new thing that we could do, a new way to do something, it becomes this tool chest that, that, that now our artists and, and our designers can use to build things that maybe they didn't even, they couldn't even dream of or didn't even think was possible. Why don't we see a little bit of video and uh, introduce her to you. Hello and welcome aboard. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Is now a good time to discuss your journey? Yes. yes. We're on vacation. If you want an unforgettable vacation, you are on the right Star Cruiser. Oh. How was your sleep cycle? It, it was, was great. great. Wonderful. You'll need all your energy for your day at Black Spire Outpost. Do you know the proper greeting to show respect to the locals? No. no. Not yet. When greeting them, you should say, Bright Suns, can you try it? Bright Suns! We are testing D309. Uh, she is in every single cabin on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. And uh, we, can't wait. we can't wait for you all to meet her. This sounds like kind of a new world. I mean, where these characters that used to live on film suddenly have jumped <laughs> into our lives and are hanging around with us. What, what are the implications of that? Our guests already have amazing relationships with our characters. And this is really an opportunity to transform those relationships in a way that are, you know, really fun, really engaging, and sort of introducing conversation and the ability for a character to interact with you and sort of meet you wherever you are in a, in a new story world. It really is transforming this. It's kind of amazing how deeply people feel about our characters already. I mean, people do connect in a, in a, in a really profound way, and, and this really does seem fun to, to have them actually join with us in our lives. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not just about the character's story, it's about your story. And I, th I think that's what's gonna be really fun about this, that it's, it's this one, she, it's not just gonna be about D309. She's here to celebrate you, to bring you into to her world, but, but also you, you're gonna teach her things. You're gonna change this character. Having that impact on a story, I think is gonna be really, really fun and, and empowering for our guests. Creating a platform like this, you know, is gonna let us uh, start to really experiment with other things as well. Um, it, it's cool to, 
to have this team together the way we have that has you know this whole mix of all these different uh, uh, types of thinkers and then now to have the platform and the technology that allows us to now start to really experiment with uh, what do you do with these characters? What do they? What do you do with them now that they work? Yeah, and I think there's an incredible opportunity for folks that are interested in this technology, you know, artificial intelligence and speech technologies. I and mean, this is the, a playground where you can transform these technologies that are applied in so many other different ways to something that's creating magical experiences for all of our guests and these, these human-like connections uh, with our characters. In R&D, I think part of the exciting part is that we're using technology, but everything we do is from a lens of what new experience can this create. We are, we are building some really sophisticated tools, but at the end of the day, the experience is the thing that matters. And our team always has that in their mind from the beginning, that we never build technology for technology's sake. It's always to enable an experience that wasn't possible before. For me, the, the thing that's fun about the way we work is that thing of fitting your individual excellence into this group of people's individual excellence and then you you discover things that you could never do on your own and and it's the the kind of the the combinatory effect of all those thinkers there together make stuff that's really surprising offer yeah that, i mean that's our job here is to is to prototype and explore and eventually test these concepts and then you know eventually deploy them to the world so we're excited to to get the first one out there and i i think there's more on the way I know this has been a long, long project and uh, a lot of work, and we're all really proud of the results. Um, and it's exciting to see this D309 character, uh, you know, kind of step out into the world. But what's even more exciting is, is what this means, is that, that we have this platform now. And I think it's going to be kind of amazing to imagine a future in which, you know, you get to kind of hang around with these, these uh, kind of crazy fantasy characters that are, are larger than life. Don't forget to have fun. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay.